Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you something pretty cool, um, in my opinion. Uh, this is, well, uh, this I made this video to show you my Acer C720 Chromebook. Uh, this is not just an ordinary Chromebook. Um, it's got a few modifications to it, like hard to hardware and both software, well, both hardware and software. Uh, as you can see, on the outside case we have two stickers, um, three actually, and the general Chromebook stuff. If you open it up, nothing appears to be different, besides the fact that we've got uh, a Linux inside sticker, which um, I had Linux on this at one point, I deleted it, I never got rid of the sticker, and also an Android sticker, just because it looked cool. On this side, there's a Bro to use in code sticker. Um, but yeah, before we get into the actual laptop, uh, I just want to show you the back of it real quick. This has this is the model with four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, just some information. Notice, however, that well, you can't really see with this light. But one of the screws on the back has a sticker saying if you remove the sticker, you basically void the warranty. And yeah, I did that because this Chromebook does not have 16 gigabytes of storage. Well, it came with it, but I upgraded that by installing my own SSD. And now it has 128 gigabytes of storage, which might seem like overkill because, like, the Chromebook comes with two terabytes of dual uh, drive storage or whatever. But um, the thing is, this Chromebook actually runs Windows 10. This is not fake. I'm not using a green screen thing. Uh, whatever you can see, it tells it has my Microsoft account on it. This lighting is really bad. I'll turn the brightness down on the laptop when I sign in. But I'm just gonna put it like in. So we're actually in the laptop now. Uh, the brightness just that. That's fine, I guess. Um, but yeah, this actually runs Windows 10. We have the Start menu. I've made the cursor a bit bigger, and yeah, to prove it has 120 gigabytes of storage. Uh, we can just go here, and go to our local disk, actually this PC, and you can see local disk C, 36.4 gigabytes free of 111. Uh, it just it's, um, says 111 because it uses some things for like the system or whatever, I'm not sure, or like the operating system. But yeah, even though I could, use, I could have used it with 16 gigabytes, uh, you wouldn't be able to download much. Um, Again, it is an SSD, so this boots up in like 6 seconds, it's crazy fast. Um, that's pretty much all there is to say. Uh, we can run like actual apps, like if I wanted to play Crossy Road, I could do that, but for my Chromebook. Um, a few other things to mention, it's got a driver for the trackpad, so I can use two fingers to scroll. I'll just close out of this. But yeah, I can scroll with two fingers. I'm using the auto hotkey because, well, these buttons, like these function keys up here on a regular Chromebook, um, Windows treats those as function keys. It treats the search key as the Windows key. Uh, so I'm using auto hotkey so I can do things like control the volume with those keys by holding down shift. Um, Stuff like metal clicking with all pretty basic uh, stuff. We have the Windows Store. Like basically just functions as a Windows 10 laptop. It's pretty affordable. The hard drive is only like around $50. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's connected to my Microsoft account. So my actual computer and this are pretty much like linked together or whatever. Um... Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm satisfied with how this Chromebook turned out. It's my personal laptop. I use it all the time. It's great. I'd recommend doing it. Um, I will put a link in the in the video description on how you can install Windows 10 on your own Chromebook and how to install your own SSD in case you wanted to do that. But yeah, this is just a Acer C720. I kept all the hardware and stuff besides the read write protect screw so I could install Windows and the old hard drive. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to say. Well, actually, these ports all on the side all work as you expect them to. I have a thing for a wireless mouse, uh, which I occasionally use when playing games that require it. Uh, but yeah, 
That's about it. Thanks for watching.